Hello everyone and welcome for this new tutorial. Today we will see how to blend animation together. It's something that I use all the time and we will see how to blend the animation into the animation blueprint. For example, we'll be able to use one animation and just use the arm of that animation and blend it to a running animation, for example. This is something I use all the time, especially with Mixamo animation. If we don't have everything we want in Mixamo, but sometimes by blending some animation, you can make the animation that you want. So we'll go ahead and we'll go into Unreal to blend some animation. Okay, so here is a little game that I'm currently working on. I will make a video about it when I will have some stuff to show you. I just have one issue. You can see that I have a first person uh, character. And as you can see, if I turn around and I room around, you can see that the legs of my character is not moving properly. It's looking weird when I go on the right, the legs keep doing the forward animation, so it's not looking very good. Something that I found in Mixamo is that I have this animation. I have some animation with, for example, this animation that goes backward. You can see the legs go backward, it's very nice, but the body looks very weird. Same for the left animation and for the right animation. I would like to blend the legs of this two animation with the body of the run animation, the normal run animation this animation. So I would like to keep the upper body of this animation and the legs of the other animation. And we can do that by blending. First, I have created a blend space only for the legs. It's a very easy blend space. We can see that we have speed and direction. If you want a video on blend space, let me know in the comment section. I will make you a video explaining how to use the blend space and how to make something with the blend space. It's not the goal of this video, but here is the blend space that I have. And I would like to blend it with this blend space, which is just the normal running animation. How to do that? To do that, we will go into our animation blueprint. I have my animation blueprint here with my character. And I will go into my locomotion state machine. And I have the walk and run animation. Don't pay too much attention of, of those animation. This is for my game. But we have the walk and run animation. In this walk and run, I just have this blend space. And we could actually change this and use my new blend space. I'm going to start by doing this. I'm going to replace the old blend space by the new one. And if I do that and that I launch the game, you will see that the forward animation is good. But the right and left animation, I don't really like them. It's looking weird. They don't fit very well into the game. We could actually leave it like that. It will be working. But I would like to make it a little bit spicier. To so do that, we will blend them. So let's go. And let's start blending them. So I will need this blend space, but I will also need the other blend space. So I will put it back in here. I'm going to need the ground speed for using this blend space. The first blend space, the walk run will be my animation for the upper body with the arm roaming around. And the other blend space will be only for the legs. To do that, we will use a node called layered lay blend per bone. We will need the base pose and the blend pose. So we'll use the walk and run as the base pose and the legs as the blend pose zero. And now we need to specify in here into the layer blend per bone. We need to specify our bone. Into the layer setup, we can press plus and now we can set the bone name. I will need two of them because my character has two legs. And we'll use the bone name of the legs, which is the thigh left and the right one. And then to the skeleton, I have my span, which, which is my first bone for the rest of the body. And we have both of the legs. We start the first one with these bones and the other one with these bones. By doing this, oh, like this here, We'll blend the normal animation with the legs animation of my blend space legs. Let's check how it looks. For the forward animation, there is no change. We have the back animation. Looks a little bit weird. And the left and right animation, which looks really good. To fix the issue with the back animation. When you have the legs that are a little bit twisted, we can change in here the mesh space rotation blend. We will set it to true and we will fix up the rotation of the blending. If I go forward, it's still the same. If I go backward, it looks way better. If I go left and right, it looks good also. So now we have blend two animations 
one for the legs and one for the upper body. Now we'd like to do something different. Now we'd like to blend another animation. I have this pointing animation. You have the character pointing at something and we'd like the character to be able to run and to do all of this animation with the pointing animation. I would like to be able to point to something and be able to run and not lose my running animation. And I will only blend the arm of the character because I don't need to have the rest of the body. The rest of the body can do the running animation or the idle animation. But I want only the arm to do the pointing. So I can do that by going in here. On my main anim graph, we start by doing a blend pose by bull. Because we have a boolean that said that if the, car, if the player wants to point to something, we we'll use this node and into the false, we will use the main state, which is my main uh, animation. And into the active value, we we'll use the is pointing. If the player wants to point to something, we will use this animation. And if the player is not pointing to something, we we'll use the main state, the or main animation. And on the true, we we'll use the layered blend per bone. So the base pose will be my main state and the blend pose zero will be my pointing animation. I go in here, I have my pointing idle. I will put it here. I will just do it loop. And I can plug it into the true. So when is pointing will be true, we'll use this blending and we can change now the bones. If I go into my skeleton, the bones for my arm, for my right arm will be the clavicle right. I will use this bone as the bone of the blending. I will go in here. I will choose it to the index and the bone name. I will choose clavicle underscore right. If I go and I start the game, if I press one, I'm pointing at stuff. As you can see, but I can still run. I can room around, keep pointing. I can stop and I can do, I can room around with the blending that we have just did. I can do this, and I can do that, and everything is blending all together. I have the legs blended by the blend space legs. I have the upper body with the normal animation and the arm blending with the pointing animation. And this is how you use the blending to create your own animation. You can create a lot of different animation. And that's it for today. It was a small video, but it's something that I use all the time. So I wanted to show you how to use that. I'm working a lot on my commercial game, which will be a game that's going to be released on Steam. I will talk to you about this later on. There will be a video dedicated for this game. If you got all the information that you need, please leave a like and subscribe if you don't want to miss the next video. And if you have any question, please feel free to ask in the comment section. I will check it out and respond to you. And me, I will go back working on my game and I will see you on the next video.